I feel like I want to go back to twerking in the club and hanging out hanging out with my friends okay sometimes you get knocked on your behind that's something that happened to me right when i hit 30. videos about sister locks lifestyle and fashion and today we're gonna get into life in our 30s like i am 32 years old and i am trying to kind of navigate this space <laughs> sometimes i feel like my mind is still at 27 and other times i'm like i'm getting old i'm almost 40 you know so i'm trying to find that happy medium that happy space and I'm going to go over 10 life lessons that I am learning so far. Now, I know that I'm just 32 years old, but since I've turned 30, it seems like my life kind of flipped a little bit upside down. Like I went through like a whirlwind, like epiphany, like God hit me rock bottom, which we're going we gonna to get into. But yeah, since I turned 30... Some things have transpired and I have learned a lot of lessons. I did a poll not too long ago to see what kind of video you all wanted. And this was included in the poll. And I got comments like this one that said, you know, I'm getting ready to turn 30. And I really want to see, you know, 10 life lessons that you're learning so far. So I'm making this video for you all. Thank you so much for tuning in and supporting me. And if you like my vibe, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button because I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers. It's a little hard <laughs> and your girl needs some help. So go on ahead, hit that subscribe button as I'm on my way to a thousand subscribers. And like I said, I need your help, girl. So anyway, I got my notes right here. So let's get right into it. So first and foremost, I learned that you got to put God first. And not only do you have to put God first, but you can't have a relationship with God unless you go through Christ Jesus. See, a lot of people try to put Christ out, Christ fully in there. You cannot get to God. It's all throughout the Bible and especially in the New Testament, of course. You can't touch God without going through Christ. I had to learn that the hard way. If you all go back to my first vlog, girl, I used to be in the crystal store. I used to be saging. I used to have Palo Santos and crap. I used to think that I can just have a relationship with God or as I would say, the universe, right? No, ma'am. I had to learn <laughs> the hard way. And I made a couple videos to kind of go into a little bit more details on how God shifted me and how I got rebaptized and I rejoined the body of Christ. Um, I'll make sure to link that in the description for you all because it gets really, really deep. So again, I thought that I could have a relationship with God without Christ. No ma'am, no Pam. No ma'am, no Pam. And <laughs> y'all, I'm silly. This is my personality, but I, very seriously, like, you got to go, you got to get your life right with God. And the only way to do that is through Christ Jesus. Okay. Jesus is the one 
that came down here, died on the cross, pent our sins on that cross. All glory be to Christ Jesus. That's why you see me get up in the morning and I'm praying. I'm praying. I'm thankful. I'm grateful. But don't get me to preaching. Y'all go check out my new age to Jesus part one and part two. And I'll go into way more debt with that. But life lesson number one. Can't get to God without Christ, baby. Now, lesson number two. I'm learning to have appreciation through the hard times. Um, I have recently, or I am currently going through some hard times right now. Um, I haven't gotten the courage to kind of talk to you all in depth about that. Um, I will at some point. I'm just not quite there yet, but your girl has been going through it. Okay. And through this process, I have learned that I need to count my blessings Although I am going through the storm right now, because guess what? I got food to eat. I got a roof over my head. My children are fed and happy. I got clothes on my back. I have a lot to be grateful for. I got a car. I have a means of making money. God has blessed me with this platform of over 700 subscribers. I have a lot to be thankful for throughout my storm. And that's something that is hard. It's a hard pill to kind of swallow and get used to and be grateful through the hard time. Show appreciation to God through the hard time. That's something that I actually still struggle with. But that's life lesson number two. And it's very, 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 very important and i'm so glad that i have the opportunity to relay that to you all so appreciate the good things that you do have while you're going through the storm baby all right number three life lesson number three i have made so many sacrifices through motherhood <laughs> i've sacrificed my mind my body my finances <laughs> A lot of sacrifice, y'all. And I, a part of me, no, I don't feel guilty saying this. I don't feel guilty saying this. A part of me is like, I feel like I lost my 20s. I feel like I want to go back to twerking in the club and hanging out, hanging out with my friends. <laughs> y'all know I'm still, <laughs> but y'all for real, I feel like, I lost my 20. <laughs> so I struggle with that because like I told y'all in the beginning, I, sometimes I feel like I'm still 27 years old. Like I still get it. I do still get it, you know, but I'm 32 now. <laughs> you know, I can't be just outside like your girl used to be. I'm, I'm, I'm in the body of Christ now. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, there's a lot of sacrifices you have to make through motherhood. And I know that a lot of women choose to start a family, you know, in their late 20s, uh, early 30s, you know, even mid to late 30s to each his own. Right. Um, but there are a lot of sacrifices that you're going to have to make. And sometimes you're going to feel empty and sometimes you're going to feel drained. But remember, life lesson number two, be grateful through the hard times. Be grateful through the storms right and all of those sacrifices are gonna pay off because guess what them kids gonna hit 18 and go off to college one day and you got your groove back baby yes ma'am so let's get to the next life lesson because your girl's silly life lesson number four try not to lose yourself through motherhood i know that you have to make you have to make sacrifices through motherhood but Try not to lose yourself, okay? Still get cute. Still dress up, right? Still put on some lipstick or whatever when you go on to run errands, right? Still make your way to the gym or get that personal trainer to make sure your health is intact. Don't completely let yourself go through motherhood and wifehood. Don't let yourself go. So, try to hold on because a lot of you you got to give a lot to be a wife and a mother but try to hold on to a little bit of strength while you are navigating this new wife and motherhood because 
you'll find yourself 35, 40 years old, looking crazy, out of shape, you know what I'm saying? Skin not skinning, stomach not stomaching, you know what I'm saying? And nothing wrong with women who are bigger, nothing wrong with that, but you, you can be bigger, but healthy, right? Watch what you're eating. Go to the gym. If you're not going to the gym, at least go walk about 30 minutes a day or 30 minutes every other day, whatever your threshold is. But don't let yourself go, mama. Don't let yourself go, wife. Don't let yourself go, fiance. You know what I'm saying? Still have pieces of you <laughs> throughout this process. And I promise you that it's going to come back. All of you is going to come back. Your kids are going to reach a certain age where you're you're gonna start to feel like yourself again um you typically lose yourself while you're going through postpartum right but while you're going through that just try to hold on to the pieces of yourself that you can because it is hard going through postpartum and i promise you you're gonna get back to yourself i promise all right number five life lesson rock bottom is not always a bad place to be okay sometimes you get knocked on your behind that's something that happened to me right when i hit 30 <laughs> and i will leave a video of my depression story below for you all as well but i'm telling you being in rock bottom is not fun i'm not saying it's not it's glorious and no it's not fun at all but that's where god does his best work on you Right. When things are going well, you know, your prayers are a little different, a little got sprinkles and cherries on top. You know what I'm saying? But when you rock bottom, them prayers to God get deep. You know, God is working on you while you in isolation, rock bottom. So just embrace wherever you are in life, whether you at rock bottom, steady ground, or high up, you know what I'm saying? Embrace where you are. And if you are in rock bottom, it's okay. Appreciate where you are, okay? I've been there. Keep God first, but you can't get to God without Christ, okay? Go to therapy. Get some sleep. And talk to God while you at rock bottom. Because I promise you, God is just molding and shaping you. So that when you get out, you good to go, baby. So embrace where you are. Rock bottom is not, not always a bad thing at all. Life lesson number six. We got to push through being lazy. <laughs> Your girl get lazy sometimes. And your girl thrives on procrastination. It seems like whenever I do something at the last minute, it's like amazing work. You know, like this video I'm filming right now. It's got to go up tomorrow. I got to edit and put it up tomorrow because guess what? I was lazy this week. I procrastinated this week. I did not push through this week. And now your girl rushing. Now it's going to be good work now. This video, yes, yes. Y'all hit the like button. Hit the like button. Hit the like button. Comment. Come on. Let's get into it. But um, <laughs> yeah, we got to push through the laziness. We got to push through being lazy. Just because we're getting a little bit older, we don't have that tenacity, that um, as much energy like we used to have in our 20s, that doesn't mean that we get to slack off. Okay, <laughs> we need to plan and do things how we're supposed to be doing it on the correct timeline. Get that planner out. Do what you need to do. That's what I'm doing tomorrow. After this video goes live, y'all see this video, I'm going to plan. I'm, I'm going to do better. I'm going to do better. Um, and I am going to do better. <laughs> and I'm just telling you that... We got to push through this laziness and we're going to do it together because your girl still struggles with that. Still struggles with that. So that's life lesson number six that I'm still working on. Okay. Life lesson number seven. Okay. Anything is possible. Anything is possible. However, faith without work is 
dead okay <laughs> although anything is possible you know people manifest thing and i'm gonna do a whole nother video on that comment below if you want me to do a video on manifestation but anyway um you can create mm, but anyway anything is possible right um especially when it comes to god's plan for your life and if you are on that track you ain't got to worry about nothing. You ain't got to worry about people. You ain't got to worry about finances. If you are walking in God's plan for your life, baby, can't nothing in this world stop you. Not even Satan. Okay? Nothing. Nothing. So, we got to write our goals down. But we also need to consult with God. Include Christ, correct? Because you can't get to God without Christ, baby. We need to consult with God for our goals just to make sure that it is in line with God's plan for our lives. And when we do that, anything, anything is possible with hard work, prayer, faith, love, forgiveness, Jesus Christ, anything is possible. So that is something that I am learning just to make sure that what I am doing is aligning with what God wants for my life. Um, sometimes I want things that God don't, God look at me like, child, we ain't doing that. <laughs> God be laughing sometimes at my goals, but that's okay. <laughs> We're going to get on the same page here in a minute. Um, but yeah, anything is possible, especially through Christ. Life lesson number eight that I struggle with is to stop being so hard on myself i'm getting chills just saying that i am my biggest critic i'm so hard on myself like it's sad like if i can rate myself on how hard i am on myself for on a scale of one to ten i would give it a good eight and a half we have got to show ourselves more grace. We have got to. And I'm going to make another video like this as I approach my late 30s and early 40s just to see how far I've come and to see, you know, if I've gotten better at this. But I'm hard on myself. My expectations for myself are so, like, high. So when I mess up, I'm too hard. I'm, I, I got to stop that. that I'm, I'm working on that, y'all. I'm working on that. I'm sharing that with you so that you can also work on that. I know that you are your biggest critic as well. Pray about it. Stop ourselves when we start to be hard on ourselves and critique ourselves. We just got to stop right in the midst of it and forgive ourselves right in that moment. And say, okay, I messed up. We, we ain't doing that today. We not doing that today. Okay, you made this mistake. That's okay. You're human. Forgive yourself. We got to do better than that. And that's probably my toughest lesson that I'm trying to work through right now is to stop being so hard on myself. That's the toughest lesson out of everything on my list. So life lesson number nine, friends come and go. And that's okay. Like, that's okay that, you know, those friends that you had in your 20s or in college, all of them not going to come with you to where God is taking you. And that's something that you need to expect, especially as you into your 30s and you may be thinking about starting a family. Like things are going to change, right? Um, you're going to have girls that still want to go outside, whereas your, your happy place is right in the bed watching Netflix and a bonnet and... and <laughs> And doing your feet like this. You know how we do our feet like this in the bed? That's our happy place. We ain't got to go out. We good right in the bed. <laughs> but, you know, it's okay that we're entering this era in our 30s. And some friends, you know, ain't going to be with that. You know, and they just can't go with you with where you going. And that's just something that. We just got to be okay with it. We got to be okay with, um, we got to show grace. I'm not saying you got to just cut people off left and right. But if things are fizzling off and fading out, it's 
okay. It's, a, it's just a part of life. And that's something that, you know, I've learned. Um, I feel like I've mastered that. Um, I don't get angry when things start to like fade out. I don't get hurt. I don't take things personal anymore. Like it is what it is because my best friend is Jesus Christ. Um, I'm, I'm good. I'm straight. I'm straight. I'm straight. So you got to learn to be straight too. My last life lesson is to enjoy the moment while you're in the moment. Stop looking so far ahead. Stop looking in the rearview mirror. Be in the present moment right now. Enjoy where you are every single day. Kiss your kids. Kiss your husbands. Kiss your mama. Like just enjoy being present in the moment. And it's really hard to do that, you know, with social media and comparing and, oh, I wish I was this far in life. I'm not quite there yet. Or I could have been further in life if I hadn't made this mistake. Like we got to get out of that. We got to forgive ourselves, be in the moment and everything going to be all right at the end of the day. Everything going to be all right. Okay, especially if you give your life to Christ, everything gonna be all right. I'm telling you, just enjoy where you are, enjoy every day while you're in that day, while you're in that second, that moment. Be present, okay? We got this. All right, y'all. So I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here. If you like my vibe please go ahead and hit that subscribe button as I'm on my way to a thousand subscribers and I need your help to get there. All right. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.